Hello, I'm Extension Entomologist Blake Layton, and this is Gardening Through the Seasons. Spring is a busy time of the year for gardeners and an exciting time. There's a lot to do in the garden, but there's also a lot to enjoy, and azaleas are definitely one of the highlights. Once they're planted and established, azaleas are relatively maintenance-free, but there's one insect pest that gardeners definitely need to be able to recognize and know how to control, and that's the azalea lacebug. Adult lace bugs are only about an eighth to three sixteenths of an inch long and they're named for their flattened lace-like wings. Immature lace bugs are wingless and their bodies are covered with spines. Both the adults and immatures live on the undersides of the leaves where they use their piercing, sucking mouth parts to suck the sap from the leaves. Now this results in a chlorotic stippling effect that is visible on the upper leaf surface. Heavy infestations can cause entire leaves and even entire plants to have a bleached or bronze appearance and plants that are damaged to this degree don't grow well and they don't bloom well. Lace bug injury is often mistaken for spider mite damage, so when you see azalea leaves with this type of stippled appearance, it's important to take a closer look. Flip some leaves over and check their undersides. Finding adult or immature lace bugs lets you know exactly what's causing the problem, but there is one other sign of lace bug infestation that you need to be able to recognize, and that's these dark fecal spots that lace bugs leave on the undersides of the leaves. Now lace bugs overwinter in the egg stage, and this means there are times of the year, and basically this is from late fall through early spring, when you won't be able to find active insects even on plants that are severely infested. But these fecal spots will persist, and finding these fecal spots on the undersides of leaves is a sure sign that that plant is infested with azalea lace bugs. Here we see some leaves that are severely infested compared to uninfested leaves in the background. So how do you protect your plants from these damaging insects? Well, that really depends on how badly infested they are. Most plantings of azaleas will have a few lace bugs on them but plants that are growing in a good location, in good drainage with a kind of nice filtered shade that azaleas like, usually don't develop damaging infestations. Plants that are growing in full sun or suffering some other type of stress are much more likely to suffer severe infestations. For severe infestations, the first step is to treat the plants with a foliar spray in order to reduce the population as quickly as possible. I recommend using an insecticide containing the active ingredient asaphate because asaphate is a systemic insecticide that will move through the leaves and reach the bugs where they're feeding on the bottoms of the leaves. Be sure to read and follow label directions when making this application. For less severe infestations or for preventive treatment of plants that have a history of lace bug infestation, you can use a soil drench containing a metacloprid. You should also use imidacloprid as a follow-up treatment to the asaphate spray on heavily infested plants. When applied as a soil drench, imidacloprid is slow acting, but it provides relatively long-term control. This product is available under several different brand names, but all are applied in a similar manner. Basically, all you do is dilute the specified amount of imidacloprid in water and use a watering can to apply this treatment to the soil around the plant. Be sure to read the label before you treat and apply according to directions. The rate depends on the size of the plant, so measure and count the plants you need to treat before you go to purchase your insecticide so you'll be sure you get enough product. Now, metacloprid is a useful and effective treatment, but it can be costly with costs ranging from $3 to $10 per plant, depending on size. So you'll want to be selective and only treat plants that either have established infestations or have some predisposing factors, such as the fact that they're growing in full sun or have a past history of having lace bug infestations. You can find more information on azalea lace bugs in Extension Publication 2369. That's Insect Pest of Perennial Plants in the Home Landscape. And you can find this publication at your local county extension office, or you can go online to www.msucares.com and click on Publications and find it there. That's it for this edition of Gardening Through the Seasons. I'm Extension Entomology Specialist Blake Layton, and good luck in your garden this year. And by the way, when was the last time you checked your plants for lace bugs? <music>